Now you know about polar form, we're going to look at doing loci in polar form or sets of points. So think about um, the argument of Z2 minus Z1, what would that actually mean? Well, Z2 minus Z1, that would refer to the distance between those two complex numbers. We can think about it being this line here that's shown dotted. So what would the argument of that be? Well, it would be this angle here, the, the angle that it makes with the horizontal or the real axis. So the argument of Z2 minus Z1 is the angle between the line that joins them and a line that's parallel to the real axis. Okay, let's have a look at some examples of how we can um, draw some uh, sets of points or loci. So we're going to draw for the following conditions. We want the set of points where the argument of Z is equal to pi by 4. So here's your argand diagram. We want the argument um, being pi by 4. Well, pi by 4 is 45 degrees. So it's this line here. Now notice we've got an empty circle down there because the argument of zero is undefined. So it can't actually touch the origin there. We leave it as an empty circle. So Z could be anywhere along that line um, since the angle between that line and the real positive axis is pi by four. This is sometimes referred to as the half line from the origin in the direction of pi by four. Okay, um, how about the argument of z minus i equals pi by 4? So think about vectors here. If you had um, OA minus OB, then in vectors that would be going the reverse of OB and forwards of OA, which gives you the vector B to A. So if we're thinking of the same things as z and i as vectors, that means that it's the line from i to z. Okay, so we start at i and then we go towards z. So in the direction of z, which makes an angle of pi by four. So it gives us this angle here being pi by four. So starting at i, going in a direction of the vector z or the complex number z would be anywhere along that line so that we get that angle of pi by four. Okay, and this time we've got a region to think about. So the argument of z minus i is between 0 and pi by 4. So we'll just get rid of some of those. Um, so we've got that line that we had from part 2 in green. Now this time we want the angle to be anywhere between pi by 4 and 0. So this would be uh, the region here shaded in zero. That blue line at the bottom would be if the argument of z minus i was equal to zero and the green line which we did in part two was if it was equal to pi by four so that blue shaded region can be anywhere between those. Okay if the argument of z is pi by three and the argument of z minus root three i is zero find the argument of z minus two. We're going to draw this to help us out. So, if the argument of z is pi by 3, it looks like this. So z is some complex number, the angle of the vector towards z um, would make an angle with the real positive axis of pi by 3, which is 60 degrees. Now the argument of z minus root 3, that means the line from root 3 on the um, imaginary axis towards z. And it makes an argument of zero, which means that it is horizontal. It has zero degrees between that line and the line that runs parallel to the real axis. So we get a 90 degree angle there. Now, um, knowing what we do know about uh, special triangles, we can recognize this is a special triangle. Um, we've got the um, hypotenuse will be two. We've got root three on the y axis and one on the uh, in the x direction and that's one of the identity triangles that you should be quite familiar with. Now working from that we can put our um, marks on the um, real axis. We know that z is 1 along on the real axis and we're looking for the argument of z minus 2 so that's the line from 2 towards z so we want this angle here. 
So we know that um, on the other side of that um, line there would be a pi by 3, since it's uh, the same as the angle that's um, the argument of z itself, just looking at the geometry of the triangles there, which gives us the argument of z minus 2 being 2 pi by 3. OK, draw a diagram to show the argument of z plus 3 is less than or equal to minus 5 pi by 6. So this one's looking at a, a z plus 3 before we've only seen the ones like z minus 3 and that sort of stuff. So, um, And we've also got the argument being less than or equal to a negative number. Now z plus 3, that's, that can be written as z minus minus 3. So that means the line from minus 3 towards z. And the argument is minus 5 pi by 6, so it's going underneath the, um, the x-axis there. Uh, anti-clockwise from the direction of the positive real axis. So we've got that angle of minus 5 pi by 6. Now the argument has to be less than or equal to it, so we shade in this area here. 